Welcome back. Welcome in. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aquarius. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Aquarius placement that you find relevant, there may be messages that will resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will be linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Aquarius, <laughs> we're jumping right in. We got the Eight of Cups, we got the Nine of Swords, we got the Seven of Cups. What is going on? I am getting this might not be your energy. Could be dealing with someone that's in a bit of a poo-poo state. Definitely could be your energy, though. Some sort of um, little moody moment. What else do we have for Aquarius? Let's get the whole story. Three more cards, please. What else does Aquarius need to know this week? We have the Knight of Swords. Seems like a clash might be happening. Or you're either moving away from something, someone, person, job, place, thing. Um, or they're moving away from you, however the story rolls out. And I don't think someone's going to allow that, to be honest. If they have allowed you to walk away, I don't think they're going to stay away or... Um, yeah, someone's going to be wanting to get you back is the vibe that I'm getting here. What? One more card for Aquarius, please. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, definitely could be a relationship. For some of you, it's a job environment. Maybe you've walked away to pursue your own sort of entrepreneur th entrepreneurship thing or to work independently because this is very much independent, single energy. We have the Chariot card. Cancer energy could be important to you. Major Arcana. Yeah, movement. Heavy movement from someone here. Wheel of Fortune. Damn, look at all this major arcana. What is going on, Aquarius? Some Something's about to happen here. Some moves, some drastic moves I'm hearing are about to be made. This could be you making some moves. This could be someone else making some sort of move towards you, whether it's a person, a relationship, or a work situation. But I do see you walked away here. Eight of Cups tells me you have walked away. You've put up some sort of boundary. You're not allowing someone to have any access to your energy anymore. And if there has been any sort of lag time in between, I don't think there's going to be much longer. If this is someone, if you're thinking of someone you haven't spoke to in more than a month, this is not the person. Even two months, tops. More than that, nah. Whoever you're thinking that is, they're not coming back. <laughs> Eight of Cups, this is someone you recently walked away from, I feel. There is some sort of standard or, 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 you know, standard that maybe was not met is the vibe that I'm getting here. Something could have also been said. Something that you did not like. Someone maybe said something irrational or without thinking. And you're like, okay, well, if that's how you think and feel, I can't associate with you. Whoever you are, job, person, boyfriend, girlfriend. And it looks like you walking away has really thrown this person for a loop. Eight of swords here. Nine of swords, sorry. Someone can't sleep, can't eat. Very confused. Very, you know, what should I do? Looks like you're very much minding your own business, though. Someone's distraught over you walking away. Or you maybe you could have also walked away due to the amount of confusion that there was in the situation. But I don't get this as you. I get you've maybe freed yourself from it. Or vice versa. Someone could have walked away from you. Maybe you said something uh, that you didn't mean to. However it goes. Your boss said something they didn't mean to. Or in a way that rubbed you wrong, you know? But I do see a freedom here. I don't think you're much bothered by it. Or if you were, you're not anymore. The Fool card, Nine of Pentacles, you're very much tending to what, you know, minding the business that pays you. And this business doesn't pay you anymore, so you ain't minding it. And I, could, I do think that's affecting someone. They don't like the fact that you are no longer in their life. Or, you know, y'all ain't working together no more. So, looks like there's a leap or some sort of um, major comeback is what I just heard. The Wheel of Fortune signifies good things, though. Fortunate things. Luck being on your side. Fortune favoring you. Maybe you want to play the lotto even. Someone could have also not expected you to move on. They definitely took them for a shock. But I am getting this is more so... Like someone's having an epiphany. If they're in this energy now of, oh my God, what should I do? How do I get them back? What have I done? This is very much the vibe I'm getting here. What have I done? How did I mess that up? 
there's a there's a leap here. Someone wants to start fresh. The, the fool is new, clean slate sort of energy. Or someone could have, because someone could absolutely think they were a fool for saying what they said. Very much, oh, I shouldn't have said that. I'm such a fool. I was such a fool. But it looks does look like there's going to be a major comeback here with these three. With these three, it's only a matter of time. It's destined. Somebody's, it, it's destined for this to happen now. Whether or not you do anything with it, that's absolutely your decision. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just giving you the message. Some of you might block this person out because you know that you're the empress. You ain't want nothing to do with nobody. That's cool, but there is going to be messages of movement. Two eights here as well. Two eights and the Wheel of Fortune. Definitely some sort of destined event happening here. You might not, you know, some of you will not deal. You will not respond. You will not in, in, involve that. And that's fine. That's your that's your free will. And some of you will. Some of you will take the opportunity because this person does make you happy. Leo energy, happiest card in the deck. And be careful for the fertile ones because I see the Empress and the Sun card with this naked baby. Yeah, King of Cups. Somebody loves you. They love you. They love your work, whatever it is. Deep, deep, deep emotions here. As I said, some of you will go back and some of you won't. Whichever one you are, that is your business. What is the guidance for Aquarius, please? Some of you, this is a relationship. And you are now single. You're very much, you know, doing your thing. And I don't think somebody likes that all too much. That this is a work environment, you are now working for yourself. Maybe you were the bread, you know, you pulled in a lot of numbers at the job. Those numbers aren't being pulled in anymore. So someone's strategizing almost how to, the seven of cups could also be like, ah, how do I, what do I do? Do I send flowers? Do I double their pay? <laughs> how do I get this back? Because I was pretty dumb to even allow this to walk away. That's, that's also very much giving me clash energy too. Someone might literally stop you. Stop you at the door. What do we have for Aquarius? Guidance for Aquarius, please. But you don't seem to be bothered. You don't seem to be bothered. If you were, you're not anymore. You're very clear. You're very, you know, it is what it is type of vibe. We have here a personal issue, which is resolution, full moon and cancer. So look at that. We have the full moon and we have cancer here. Cancer season could be an important time frame or a cancer. Scorpio as well. A little bit of Aries, a little bit of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have here adjustments are required. Yeah, get it together. Get it together. Somebody needs to get it together. And I think they realize that. Better fix up. Because, <laughs> yeah. What do we have for Aquarius, please? So, adjustments are being made. The issue will be fixed if you want it to be. Break the chain. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Very much giving me with this uh, Wheel of Fortune. These three heavy hitters here. Someone is not going to going to allow this to end the way that it had they want to change they want they want to renew this if this is ended they don't want it to go that way this is the adjustment that they're making they're they're figuring out how they're going to bring this back together or to make it go the way it should have went making moves big moves chariot um what am i missing yeah let's get one of these for you Aquarius. guidance for Aquarius, please Breaking the chain, patterns, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Could be bad habits that made someone sort of act in whatever way they did or say whatever it is they said. Because I do get it was something that was said or not said. Something was either not said or something was said that wasn't supposed to be said. One card for Aquarius, please. That's like a habit this person has with the ancestral patterns here. Don't hold back the tears. Let it flow like an effing faucet. So, yeah, it's a very someone is very emotional. I could see that with the Nine of Swords there. Very emotional. So, in any type of holding back that is being um, rectified, that is the adjustment. Because someone doesn't want to lose you, either as, either as an employee, a friend, a, a girl, a man. They value you. 
And we have here Porcupine Spirit, Time for a Beginner's Mind. So two references of this Fool energy. Very much someone wants to start over here. They do feel they were a fool, but they're willing to learn. It's like, whatever I got to do, tell me what I need to do. Teach me, show me. Time for a beginner's mind. Someone's open, very much open here. Maybe they were prickly before. Number 48. Someone might have been a bit prickly before. That is your reading, Aquarius. I really do appreciate the view. <laughs> Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.